Well, a duck tube is a, it's an artificial nest that we actually build, especially for mallard. Basically, it's a tube made of wire and hay. The mallards seem to love them. It gives them a very safe place to lay their eggs and keeps them safe from predators during the 26 day incubation period when she's sat on the eggs. Mallard nest tubes are really easy to make. Start off with seven foot by three foot section of weld wire. It's then rolled up to 34 inches. And then that area is then tied together with hog rings or cable ties. You then cover the remainder of the section in a layer of hay, two to three inches depth. Pack it quite tightly into the um, into the inner roll, and then you just roll it up like a, a bit like a Swiss roll, really. Nip it together again with either hog rings or cable ties. We found that hay is a useful material to use for the hen houses. I know people do use straw, um, but we found that it blew out quite quickly and left us with an empty cage, basically. So we use hay because it, it binds quite well it forms the outer tube and the, the tube. inner nest material. Tube made. You then get a, a piece of decking board, tantalised, which is about just under three foot length. We put some staples, 11 mil staples, or bigger, down the side uh, of the board. And then we actually nail the tube to the board. And then using cable ties, you attach the yeah. tube itself to the staples. To actually mount the nest tube onto a scaffold pole, you need something in the form of a T-bar. Now, originally we started using just a straightforward aluminium table leg that you could just screw into the base of the deck board. We're now building our own out of a piece of steel tubing. There's a metal plate that we can weld the tube to the top, which forms basically a T-shape which you can then screw that into the base of the decking board. We mount our nest tubes on scaffold poles that are seven foot in size. We take them out into the water and just bang them in to almost eye level with a sledgehammer. Simple as that. Mm. Wildfowl are odd. The mallard won't take nest material in into, a, into the nest tubes themselves. They won't carry material into the nest tube and then, so you've got to basically provide the hay for her. We fill the nest tube with about half to three quarters full of hay. Quite well packed actually, you'd be surprised how much hay is lost out of the tubes during the incubation process. She actually physically pulls out hay from the sides of the inner tube to keep building her nest bowl up. And so at the end of a 26 day incubation period, you'll see that the, visibly the, the nest tube is, is missing bits. It, it looks quite bare and the nest bowl will be quite sort of well, well packed. Well, the duck tube is not our original idea. It's, um, it was 
first developed by the Americans and the Canadians, Delta waterfowl, um, and then used over in Northern Ireland by the Devonish wildfowlers. And so we've sort of copied the idea, seeing that success on places like YouTube have really sort of given us the sort of encouragement that they actually work very well. So in 2011, we thought, let's try some on our wetlands um, in Cumbria and Lancashire, and it's absolutely worked a treat. You put these nest structures out, you're getting a lot more ducklings into your local mallard population. Whoa, talk of the devil, that would have been a neck and nice shot. I was, I was monitoring one wetland and found from the ground nesters that only one nest actually hatched out um, out of the five we had on that particular wet spot, which is pretty appalling. One of the females was taken by a fox um, and the other four nests were, were trashed by presumed, presumably corvids or something like that. Um, and only one successful brood came out. Since we've installed the nest tubes, we've had better than 85% hatch rates from all our, all our tubes. One particular um, nest tube on, on one syndicate pond has produced 34 ducklings already since July 2013. It's now 2014. We've had a hatch of um, 14 to start with and just, she's just hatched 12 out. So very, very good hatch rates. Very, very good brood sizes as well. You're looking at between nine and 14 ducklings coming out of each nest tube. Well, it was my ambition to actually see ducklings leaping out of these structures that were actually built. I'd actually spent days <laughs> monitoring the nest to start with. I had to actually time to the exact day when I knew that there was a good chance of actually seeing a hatch and, and ducklings actually leaping out and I was very, very fortunate. I spent four hours with nothing happening. I knew she was sat on the nest and she was sitting very tight so I knew the ducklings were in there and I was very fortunate to actually set the camera up for a brief, brief 20 minutes and then witness her flying out and then a couple of ducklings. It was a, it was a great moment to witness. As far as I know, I don't, I don't think a duckling leaping out of a nest tube has, has actually been filmed before. I've not seen anything on YouTube anyway, but I think this, was, this might have been a first. Um, unfortunately, I ran out of footage on the, on the camera, but I, I did manage to get two that came out. But I sat there for the rest of the day and, and she had nine out of nine in July 2013. It was, a, it was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant to see them.